So Mark Zuckerberg is really in for a titanic clash in the realm of AR and VR headsets. It's time to witness the clash of the titans as Mark Zuckerberg, the full-time CEO of Meta and part-time reviewer of rival gadgets, takes center stage in the tech arena. His target, none other than Apple's latest creation, the Vision Pro, a virtual reality headset that has sent shockwaves through the industry. This is your Apple News Update. You see, Zuckerberg's Meta already boasts its own VR headset, the Meta Quest. But with the introduction of Apple's Vision Pro, the stakes have been raised to new heights. It's not just a clash of companies, it's a battle of ideologies. While Apple is renowned for its consumer electronics prowess, Meta's roots lie in social media. So when Zuckerberg decided to take a jab at Apple's latest offering, it wasn't just about competition, it was personal. Enter Zuckerberg, armed with his sharp wit and keen eye for detail, ready to dissect the Vision Pro with surgical precision. In a scathing review that sent shockwaves through the tech community, Zuckerberg spared no punches in his assessment of Apple's creation. From design flaws to performance issues, he left no stone unturned in his critique. But what exactly did Zuckerberg have to say about the Vision Pro? So I finally tried Apple's Vision Pro. And, you know, I have to say that before this, I expected that Quest would be the better value for most people since it's really good and it's like seven times less expensive. Uh, but after using it, I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think the Quest is the better product, period. Well, for starters, he didn't mince words. According to him, the MetaQuest is not only a better value, but also a superior product in every aspect. From comfort to performance, Zuckerberg made it clear that in his eyes, Apple's offering simply couldn't hold a candle to Meta's VR Pro S. And the price tag? Oh, don't even get me started. While Meta's headset comes in at a modest $499, Apple's Vision Pro will set you back a whopping $3,499. That's a difference of $3,000. So, while Zuckerberg may have his biases, it's hard to argue with the numbers. But wait, there's more. Zuckerberg didn't stop at just criticizing Apple's product. He went a step further and recorded the entire review using his VR headset. Talk about rubbing salt in the wound. It was a bold move to say the least, but then again, when has Zuckerberg ever been one to shy away from controversy? Of course, this isn't the first time Zuckerberg has thrown shade at his competitors. Last year, he launched Threads, a rival to Twitter in a move that sent shockwaves through the social media landscape. And let's not forget his ongoing feud with Elon Musk, which has seen the two tech titans trade barbs on more than one occasion. But Zuckerberg isn't the only one playing the game. Brands have been taking shots at each other for decades, and the tech industry is no exception. Just look at the infamous cola wars between Pepsi and Coca-Cola, or the ongoing feud between Wendy's and McDonald's. It's all part of the game a game that Zuckerberg seems more than willing to play. So what does the future hold for Apple and Meta? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure, with Zuckerberg in the driver's seat, it's bound to be one heck of a ride. So buckle up folks and hold on tight because things are about to get interesting in the world of tech. And don't forget to support this channel by hitting the subscribe button. I will see you in the next one.